for kids, yeah, kids, uh, it, it's a great, I respect all the little kids that come up and have good manners. I love them. They come up and say, could I have a donut, please? Every time I'll give them a free one. And I say, and they go, oh, I say, that's for having good manners. Actually, a, a little girl come on Sunday and uh, she said, oh, please, might I have a donut all by herself? I said, yes, darling. I said, there you go. She's in a little horse, horse hat burning out in the pony club. And uh, I said, there you go. I said, actually, you can have two. I said, oh, she have only got enough for one. I said, no, they're free. Yeah, that's because you asked so politely. So some kids come up and they don't ask. You know, have, have two, have six. Yeah. Ever thank you? You know, I don't say that, but no, no, please, no, thank you. So the ones, the ones that come up even with their parents, I usually reward them with a free donut. No skin off my nose. Customers of the future. What you do is get people. You'll get those people come back, hopefully. So uh, I've had people that have come up. And I've said, uh, they've been short a couple of cents. I said, no, don't worry about it, mate. Yeah, she's right. I've had them come back next week. There's a 10 cents I you. I've had, I'd say 99% of ones I've given her, given the donuts, uh, you know, a few, maybe a dollar or something out, they've always come back. Obviously, local or travelling through. It just surprises me. But they um, they call in, uh, oh no, I always come back here for donuts. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's good, the area's good. I had a little, um, I shouldn't be saying this too much, but I had a little fox that I started to feed a few months ago. He used to come over, or she used to come over the back of the van and get the fruit off the chap next door. And uh, used to wind up at night time, and so one, one night I just threw a bit of hot dog out. I was, you know, when you're going home, so I threw, then it came over, and I picked up and went. And, went. and I thought, oh yeah, a little, beautiful little red red fox. and. Uh, the next, um, next night, I looked out the door, here was sitting like a dog right beside the van. So I gave him some more. There you go. I got feet out of the hand, and anybody else pulled up, it'd run. But when I got out, I said, come on, I'd come down. I just knew I wouldn't hurt it. And uh, yeah, that went on for a while, and a couple of times it was light, and I had about 30 or 40 people taking photos. And I said, I'm not supposed to be feeding vermin, but I said, it's an animal. I love animals, you know, so he used to come. And one day I turned around, it was inside the van, sitting at, inside the caravan on the, on the floor. I turned around, whoa, whoa, what are you doing in there? So it was marvellous. Was just, you know, and so I gave some, donut, some hot dogs and off it went. Last Saturday I got here, I in the middle of the road. And I went over and went, oh no. So um, yeah, so there was an end to a little, a little era. I'd been, I've been feeding for probably about four or five months now. You know, like a Saturday night and a Sunday night, it, come over, just sitting near the van like a dog, just waiting. I'd walk out, hello, just break it up, put it on the ground and wait it go. But uh, no longer now, so.